Hello, this is Denny. And this is my plant-based journey. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> what a great evening. two years. This is our two-year uh, anniversary of having plant-based community meal events. So Dr. Scott Stoll came to Midland two years ago and that's when we started this. And so um, this room and remembering all of this started, uh, it, it's amazing to see how you know the seed of an idea of its ability, you will awaken the dream in somebody else's heart. And then you've done something truly amazing. Then you have awakened somebody, you can walk alongside of them and you see another life transformed. I don't know if you have the opportunity in your part of the world to uh, go to plant-based communities to uh, participate in dinners and potlucks, uh, to hear lectures. Um, if you have that opportunity, seek it out. Even if you have to drive a little ways. Uh, tonight there were some people at our event from a couple of hours away that came to hear the lecture and to participate in this community of people who are trying to change their health and, and impact the world around them. So uh, check it out. And if, if you need help finding someone, there are some websites that you can go to and uh, you'll find a community like Plant Pure has uh, a site for their pods, as they call it, where you can find uh, plant-based communities, people in your area. And I think a lot of places have opportunities for meals and, and get together. So, so look them up. We had a great time tonight. Several people shared their story, their progress, the change that they've made. Uh, several talked about uh, their weight loss and their health improvement, how they overcame heart attacks and disease. And listen, it, it's a great opportunity to hear people who've actually been through this and understand that eating the right foods can change your health. It will change your health. You just have to learn what to do and do it. And so it was very encouraging, it was uplifting. And of course, we were able to share some good food. I'll show you some of those pictures. We were able to listen to some people share their story. Your anniversary, my uh, beginning ability, I have two stents put in. And we were able to hear Dr. Stoll talk about how we can move forward in our journey. The reason for the meeting tonight and why we had a, a little more formal event is it is the two year anniversary for the group that is meeting here in the Permian Basin. Now, uh, for me, it's just been a few months, but um, it has been a two year journey for them and they have accomplished so much. Uh, there's just wonderful things going on in this area and there's a lot more uh, to come. And so it's exciting to be here in this area and to be a part of it. Now let me tell you a little bit about Dr. Stoll's discussion tonight. And uh, again, it was very uplifting. He showed his kindness and compassion. And I won't go 30 minutes like yesterday, but uh, let me just share a few things that he talked about. He wanted us to think about our passion and what it is that we want to do in life and, and how uh, eating this way is something that will help us in our passion. And he helped us understand that our why, why we're doing what we're doing is important. It helps us to be motivated. It helps us to uh, see through to the end and keep on fighting through it. It helps us stay focused on what really matters. Uh, and uh, it was great to hear people talk about why they're doing what they're doing. And, you know, for me, I, I've made it clear, my goal is to do something greater with my life, to make a difference uh, as a Christian and as a preacher and to be able to impact the world for good. But also, I, I want to impact people with their health, you know, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. 
uh, I like to help people and I want to see uh, them improve and do better. And so uh, my why is to improve myself so that I can carry on this journey um, so that I don't end up in a helicopter ride to a hospital or an ambulance ride to a hospital with not much chance of survival. I, I want to go on. Uh, and it's not about vanity. It, it's about service. And it's about being able to spend time with my family and my friends and uh, my grandkids. So uh, those are th things in my why. What is your why? You know, share them below. Let's talk about your why and, and what getting your health together could do for you. And uh, if you have any questions about my why, I'll be glad to share. But, you know, what is your why? You know, as he went on through his discussion, he talked about how change is a very powerful thing. And as we change our health, it tends to affect other things in life. It affects um, how we live, what we do, where we go, who we spend time with. Uh, one simple change can have a long lasting effect. One of the things that was very interesting is he talked about uh, genetics and, and how uh, life changes. There was something that uh, he called uh, epigenetics, which um, mom eats some food with the baby in the womb and the baby who who is going to reproduce down the road the things that mom ate affect the baby's baby uh, that's impressive and so the change that we make literally has a generational effect and you know uh, that's something that that we all need to be striving to do is to help our children and our children's children and those beyond. We need to leave the world a better place than we found it. We need to uh, try to teach them things that will make them whole and good and, and pure and have a great life. We need to make the country we live in a better place. We need to make the world we live in a better place. And so uh, those are all things that if we make the changes now, we can have long lasting effects in this world. And so uh, we're on this journey. We're on this journey together. We're not alone. Uh, you know, I'm sitting in my living room, but uh, I'm not alone. I'm sharing these things with my family and friends and, and with you, and, and I hope that it helps you. Uh, we're in this together, and uh, I hope that you're impacted by these things for good. So I want to wrap this up and keep it short. So let me just tell you his three main points as he wrapped up uh, the evening. He said, number one, you need to speak words of life to others. You need to encourage them and you need to talk about the things that provide life. And again, for me, that means physically, emotionally, spiritually. Um, we're going to share life, but also share, talk those words of life. Speak those words of life to yourself. Uh, and he, he told us the statistics show that most of the talk that we do to ourselves is negative about 80%. And I, I can vouch for that. I, a lot of times my thoughts to myself are uh, negative. Why did you do that? Why didn't you do that? Why did you say that? Why didn't you say this? You know, uh, questioning myself or uh, my thoughts or behaviors or what I could have done different, what I could have done better. And so I try not to micromanage those things from the, the backside. You know, uh, I don't want to be the armchair quarterback critiquing everything I do. And so uh, one of the ways we get past that is we, we speak those words of life to ourselves, And we, number two, speak words of love. We make a difference in the world. We show our family and friends that we love them. Uh, we tell them that we love them. We uh, encourage them and, and let them know how much they mean to us. Those are all good things. You know, another thing that he talked about was showing our light or sharing our light. Again, as a Christian, you know, we're told to let our light shine. We're to make a difference. We're to make an impact. Uh, there's a commercial that's on television about one person did a good deed for another, and that person did a good deed for someone else. And throughout the commercial, it comes full circle. And in the end, someone else does something nice for the person that did the first act of kindness. And, you know, we ought to be giving and charitable people. This world is hard. Like I told you before, this has been a stressful month. This has been a stressful time in my life. There's been a lot of problems and a lot of things that are going on. And a lot of times that negative speak to yourself and the negativity that's in the world, 
you can get past some of those things if you quit focusing on yourself and you start making a difference in the lives of others. You, you let your light shine. You do things for others. It takes your focus off of yourself. And so those three points are great. You need to speak words of life, speak words of love, speak words of light. Let, a, let your life be a difference maker in the lives of others. So uh, we talk about food, we talked about health and energy, but we also talked about how we can make a change in ourselves and in the world. And, and it comes from being the right kind of person who makes the right kind of choices, who has the right why, and, and goes forth making a difference in the world. Now, there's a lot of people in this world that need your help. I know that sounds so strange. We think about 7 billion people in the world and what can I do for them? But that little thing that you do, that one word of encouragement can make a huge difference. I know there are people on my Facebook page and people on my YouTube channel that, that tell me things that are positive and encouraging and it makes a big difference. It makes my day. Uh, and I'm just thankful that it means something to them too. So we're able to help each other. Oh, again, life is hard. Let's not make it any harder. Let's eat a wholesome diet. Eat a whole food plant-based diet. If you have questions about that, leave them below. Uh, if, if you want to have a spiritual life, I can show you ways to do that too. But whatever it is that I can do to help you, leave it below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, you know, most of my uh, videos are about recipes and I'm going to continue to make a lot of recipes, but once in a while, we're going to talk about these kinds of things. These are the kinds of things that can help us mentally uh, get over that hump and keep on keeping on so that we're victorious in the changes we're trying to make in this world. So if I can help you, let me know. My name is Denny. This is my plant-based journey and it's been a great week as I've learned and been edified by others in this same journey. And I hope I can be that for you. Have a great weekend.